Okay, we've got a very exciting day today. We're at the Anaheim Packing District, which is Foodie HQ for the OC. And my friends at Wheat and Sons Butchers are gonna show me how to butcher an entire hog. So let's get in there and have a look. So we're really excited today. We got a mule foot hog that we're uh, about to butcher. Mule foot hog is a rare heritage breed. Um, it's hard to get a hold of. It's almost like a wild boar. But we got it from cooked pigs in Julian. Uh, they specialize in only heritage breed hogs. Uh, we usually get red wattles, Berkshire hog. We're gonna start by removing the head. So what do you make with the uh, with the head? Uh, we make head cheese. We're also making andouille that's out of Calabria. Uh, in the UK, head cheese is also known as brawn. Next, we're going to take off the shoulder. Uh, and then we take off the shank and the foot. And what do you what do you use the shank for? Uh, we can turn it into sausages, we can braise it. Well, the foot, do you, do you use the feet for anything? Do you use uh, we put feet mostly in um, soups and stews just for the gelatinous properties it has. Yep. We sometimes pickle them, but they don't sell that well. <laughs> you don't need the, the pickled the pickle, pickle pig's feet, they don't sell. No, not so much. What, what do we do next? We uh, So now we're going to separate the rib roast from the short loin or porterhouse. We either turn the rib roast into a porchetta or we'll cut them into chops in the cell. Uh, are you famous for your porchetta? Yes, we are. And uh, with this porchetta, we noticed that the fat is a lot different than any other fat that we've dealt with. It's like almost gelée like and I feel like, I don't know, it's more edible. Next, we're going to take the ham off. in-house ham as well as make salumi and sausages from it. And with the ham we brine it and then we use it for a sandwich, a uh, suckling pig Cuban and then we make um, like a ham and cheese. What's in the, a Cuban sandwich? In the Cuban sandwich we put ham, suckling pig, mayo, stone ground mustard, uh, preserved lemon, pickled onions, Swiss, and arugula. Yeah. No, we don't put arugula? Shit. Well, you can cut the part out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the pig's tail we use in a confit pig's tail pasta. Uh, the pork belly you can braise. We actually sell quite a bit of pork belly out of the case. Uh, we also wrap it around our porchetta. And that's quite unusual to have pork belly selling because it's not a common... Most people don't buy pork bellies here. They always buy ribs and things like that. Is that, is that right? Uh, I feel like pork belly is becoming more popular. Everybody's like, oh, I want pork belly. It's like this, I don't know, not fancy, but... It's a cool new hip trend. Yeah. One of the only places I, I, you can buy pork belly. Uh, I, I haven't seen too many places that sell, sell a whole belly. Uh, what makes us so special is that we get in the whole animal, so we utilize everything. Nothing goes to waste. A massive thank you to Nathan Ashley of Wheaton Sons Butchers at the Packing District in Anaheim. Um, I really enjoyed seeing how they butchered the whole mule foot hog. Never heard of a mule foot hog before, now I know. Uh, and for all you foodies out there, uh, get down there, support these guys because they are doing some incredible, incredible stuff. Um, they're also kind enough to give me a piece of pork belly, so in the next video coming out soon, I'm going to show you how to cook that. But in the meantime, if you could go and check out some recipes on orangecountycook.com or if you're on YouTube, please can you also subscribe? Boom! There we go. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.